Uh, and now over to Maria Hoiskel from Wikimedia Deutschland, who will talk about the European Language Equity uh, Equality project, project. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, Maria. Hi, everyone. It's a little bit weird that I just see myself, but I just hope that you uh, can hear me and see me. Um, thank you for um, having me here. Um, my name is Maria, and I've been working for um, Wikimedia Deutschland for the past five years, I think. And this has mainly, mainly I've been a part of the volunteer support team over there, um, but recently I've changed into another role and I'm now supporting the product team, project team. Anyway, today I'm here to talk about um, a project that has been happening throughout Europe for the past six months and is trying to bring forward something like digital language equality in Europe. Um, I'm not sure if you can see my screen yet. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, and I gave that talk the catchy title of bringing the voices of the Wikimedia communities on digital language equality into future European Commission programs. Um, so we're going to start at the starting point. I think that um, a lot of this will not be new to you. However, um, I'm still going to like I'm, I'm still including um, information to like make a nice journey throughout the presentation. So the starting point is the EU has um, 24 official languages. Um, and next to this, besides this, it also has a lot of regional and minor minority languages. Yet um, digital support and support for language technologies are mostly focused on main languages like um, English, German, French, Spanish, and Italian. And the challenge that this poses and the questions that we are asking ourselves is um, how we can enable all language, regardless of their conditions, regardless of the number of speakers, etc., cetera, um, to realize the full potential, but especially to uh, bring something like full digital language equality to foster the multilingualism that makes Europe special somehow. Um, so the project um, has been started by people and organizations that are much more knowledgeable uh, in this field, in language technologies, in uh, language um, equality than I am. Um, and they are trying to compile a strategic agenda for the European Commission on how to reach that full digital language equality for European languages by 2030. To, and to have a focus on under-resourced European languages, to not have that focus on like the main languages um, that it had in the past. Oops. The approach um, to this is that the consortium and we and everyone in this project is trying to make as many voices heard as possible um, and there are communities like us communities like Wik Wikimedia movement involved in this but there are also a lot of like language um, language technology providers there are associations for languages language communities there are a lot of research institutes and universities on um, focusing on um, regional on, on European languages and all of them are consulted by surveys, by interviews, um, but there's also some desk research happening and based on the project partners input, they want to create a roadmap of necessary projects and activities um, for full language equality by 2030 to have the European Commission get behind this, put money behind this um, and stuff like that. So why we are part of this project and or like why Wikimedia, they wanted Wikimedia to be um, part of that project. Um, the Wikimedia project and its contents and its features, etc., cetera, are often um, themselves defined as language technologies. As you all know that a lot of language technologies today rely on the content that the communities and the volunteers are working on and keeping current and like uh, adding to. And Wikimedia communities <clears throat> have a lot of experience in um, working on preserving under-resourced languages and 
a lot of people that are here today and yesterday have a lot of experience with this. <laughs> so why uh, did we think it would be a good thing to uh, be part of this and why we want to support this is that we think it's a good idea to make the voices of the movement, of the communities, of the volunteers, of the affiliates, everyone that has to say something about this heard in 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 this policy making efforts. Um, and what we are gonna do, or me especially, is that um, the other stakeholders in the in the project, um, people throughout Europe are gonna learn about our projects, about our approach, about the community-centered um, working on languages um, to make researchers, and but also language communities learn about uh, Wikimedia projects. And the main responsibility is gonna be writing a report uh, with all that input that um, we are going to get. So now to probably the most important slide of this um, slide deck is why am I here and why am I asking you to um, for your help and for your consultation is there's a survey that one of the project partners, uh, the Dublin City University has um, created to get as many views on the future of language technologies and language equity equality um, and for our voices and for our opinions to be um, included in this i would like to ask you to fill in um, that survey or spread the word about the survey um, point me to people where that should definitely hear about this um, that are going to need um, poking about this i have included um, some links in here but i will also send the link uh, again to the Telegram chats. I have also already uploaded the presentation on comments, um, so you can get it from there as well. Filling in the survey is supposed to take about 20 minutes. Well, I am not so sure. I think it's gonna be a, a less. I've had some test rounds in this. Um, and yeah, they're gonna ask about what the challenges are working with language technologies from our perspective. What is working well? What, what kind of languages are we working with? All this kind of stuff um, to get a better picture um, on what is happening, but also what we are gonna need to have something like full digital language equality by 2030. Um, what do we think um, is important to have that? And it is supposed to be like a courageous effort. So um, we are supposed to include science fiction technology that we can think of to really be bold um, and ask for what, we, what we're gonna need from um, yeah, a policy level on European level. And I think that's the most important point I wanted to make. Um, if you, if you don't want to participate in surveys, that is also very fine. You can also just reach out to me and point me to stuff that I need to know that needs to be in a report like this. Um, you can answer questions like what what will it take to get to um, full digital language equality by 2030? Um, I will be reaching out to community members and um, projects and affiliates starting next week after this um, after this talk that I just gave and ask like individuals to fill in the survey as well. So you might hear from me, um, you might hear from me again <laughs> via email. Um, yeah, I also included my email address here. I'm in the Telegram chat, as I said. Um, if you have any remarks on this, any questions, if um, you think, if you really want to let let me um, know about something, then please do so. And I think with this, ooh, um, I wanna thank everyone for this opportunity to be here because um, being a part of this um, of this conference for like the past day has been awesome. I, um, yeah, it was really nice. The talks were super and I also really liked the, the setup and the vibe. And yeah, that's it from me. Thank you for having me.